Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you how I make my Ayurveda gloss bar. If you've been around for a while, you know I love using Ayurveda herbs in my hair care routine. And to make it easier for me, I have decided to just make some gloss bars so I can just pick them up to use when I'm ready to wash my hair as opposed to preparing from scratch each time I want to use them. So this is just a disclaimer. This video is not a how-to because this is my first time making this gloss bar, but this video is just to show you how I made this gloss bar and to also share with you the results that it gave me. So here I am measuring out shea butter. I started out by measuring out 200 grams and then later in this video you will find that I ended up with 500 grams of shea butter. This is 100 grams of cocoa butter. So this is mang mango butter and it seems like all I have is 80, 82 grams. So I'm just going to add a bit of avocado butter to make it 100 because that's all I've got. Butter, really soft butter, a hundred grams. I think I'm gonna add, this is pangnan, pang, I can't pronounce it, pangnan butter. I'm gonna add that so that we can get up to like a hundred and fifty maybe. You see, three butters. I'm going to go in with some murumuru muru butter. So that is 65 grams of murumuru muru butter. I'm going to add 35 grams of palm kennel oil to make it a hundred. Palm kennel oil and babasu oil are great alternatives for coconut oil. If you've been here from the beginning, you know I love me some coconut oil, but I was quite dependent on it, so I stopped using it to see if my hair will thrive, and it did. Um, but yeah, I love trying out different butters and oils. As you can see, I have a ton of them. So yeah, if you're sensitive to coconut oil, try babasu oil or palm kennel oil. So that's 100 grams. So now we've got 300, 400, 550, and now 650. I'm gonna melt it all down and use a little bit of that for my family's body butter, and then the rest, I'm gonna add IV the oils to it to make the hair gloss. I'm gonna melt the shea butter first, sieve it before I add the other butters. So here is all my butters whilst the shea butter is melting and I'm going to add 50 grams of pangnan butter and then I am going to add mafura butter, 50 grams as well. So here I decided to add ukuba butter followed by some babasu oil. So all my butters have melted and I've just gone in with 100 mill of wheat germ oil and then i'm gonna go in with 20 grams of olive oil i started pouring and realized that i wasn't recording so here is the rest so everything i use in this video oils butters herbs if i can find them i will definitely link them in the description box so keep an eye out for it and then i'm gonna go in with 100 ml of black seed oil. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more babasu oil. Guys, at this point, just forget the measurements because I'm just doing the most. So forget the measurements and just use whatever oils you want and whatever butters you want. I am going to add all of my powders. I am not gonna sieve them. I'm just going to pour in, <laughs> no measurements at this point, so I'm going with ashwagandha. Licorice roots. Okay. 
Slippery Elm powder. I'm not gonna put too much. Fenugreek powder. Aretha powder. This is also known as soap nut. Amla powder. And then I go in with a bit more amla oh, powder. Amla. Brimraj powder. Brahmi powder. Aloe vera powder. And when my camera died, I added some henna powder. And then now I'm going in with Trifala powder. As you know, I stopped measuring. <laughs> then I'm going to go in with MSM powder. And then I'm going to go in with glycerin if you have honey you can add that too so now i am going to just mix all my powders into my butters i have to go pick up my kids <laughs> at a nursery so I don't even know how I am going to manage that because I've still got quite a bit to go this is my first time making this so I really do not know how much of these powders I am going to need but looks like I am going to need more because this is the consistency and the consistency needs to be thicker than this way thicker so i'm definitely going to keep mixing and then i am going to add more powders so i've added some more powder and it's looking a little bit better but i want it to be a little bit thicker so i'm going to add more powders because i need to then go in and add my Ayurveda infused oil so I'm gonna add a few more powders and come back <laughs> to you guys but yeah this is what it is looking like and I am also going to make sure I warm this up again just to infuse these um, herbs into this oil I don't want to just put it away like that without infusing the herbs so I'm gonna do that before putting it away as well so this is it. It's still quite lumpy. So I'm going to go in and add my infused Ayurveda oil. This, it's got MSM in it, so I'm gonna shake it up a bit. This is about 300 grams of oil. So this is it all done after much stirring. I had to transfer it into a bigger bowl as well because I made so much. But yeah, I love the thickness, the consistency. And now I'm going to transfer them into silicone molds. I got this from Amazon and I will link it below for those of you interested. So this is it all done looking like a real crime scene. I mean, what's Ayurveda if it doesn't look like a crime scene, right? So here it is. It's been 
a day in between I couldn't finish I had to stop and go get my kids from nursery and then I ended up in the accident and emergency room <laughs> so that's another story for another day but I'm gonna put them in ziploc bags and then freeze them from for when I'm ready to use them I absolutely love how these came out so so good here So here it is, I've got six in here, I think I could add another two, I'm going to try, these will last me the whole of next year I think because I only wash my hair once a month. I'm going to zip it all up, put it in the fridge for when I need it. So this is everything packed up and ready to go into the freezer. These two, I've added honey and castor oil to it. So I'm going to see how they feel on my hair. But just on the back of um, bagging them, I find that they're very soft, as you can see. They're very soft and gooey. And then everything else is just the original recipe. I've got so many here. I'm going to give some away to family and friends, whoever wants some. Yeah. Thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. So here I am adding my Ayurveda hair tea that I make to spray my hair with. So I decided to use the ones that had castor oil and honey in them and I used three little squares because these are quite small but if I used the floral ones I think two would be enough and then after that I melt it down using the double boiler method I like to add water to it because the water activates the other elements in the herbs that can only be activated by water an example would be the slippery elm the the sliminess of that herb will only be activated when it comes into contact with water so that's just an example and also other things like henna the fenugreek also has some slip so yes it's important to add water and also because of how they soak up water you might need to add a bit because after a while it starts to like harden so you might need to keep adding water here and there so as you can see it's thickening up here with the little water that I added I added water later on so just play it by ear so this is it all done and I'm about to add some more honey with um, star anise infused in it just to add to the moisturizing um, components of this glass. Then I mix it all up and next up, it's going right into my hair. So this is it all finished, love the texture. So I have already shampooed my hair, as you can see. And I haven't conditioned or anything. This is just shampooed hair that has been left to dry for one day, I think. And this is just to show you the damage of my hair, right? So I will put up um, when this video is from. I think it's from December 2023. So as you can see, half of my hair needs to go.
So here I go in with my hair tea first. This hair tea has marshmallow root in it. So it has a good slip for detangling, which I love. This was just to show you the state of my ends. They were disgusting. They were matted, they were breaking, the split ends were actually mad. It had been three months since my last trim and cut and I showed you guys that cut and obviously I needed to cut more but I just wasn't ready. So I decided to just slowly transition the cuts. So I cut in September. I cut in December. My recent and last cut was this year, April 2024. So that was my last and final cut and I got rid of everything that needed to go. That will be the next video after the next one. <laughs> so here I am going in with the hair gloss and as you can see, it's it's got a really nice slip to it. I can detangle my hair. Um, whilst the gloss is in there it's so moisturizing and I absolutely love it so this is my hair with the gloss on it just look love 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 it so once I apply it to the length of my hair and my my roots and scalp I then twist it up So this is just a quick length check and that's really for myself for when um, I start my new hair growth journey just to see how much length I've lost and also to just keep track of my new growth. So here I went off camera and applied the gloss to all of my head and I'm just adding the what's remained to my roots and scalp before I let it sit for a few hours. I love the hang time it gives me. My hair literally loves anything that would weigh it down. Loves, loves, loves it. <laughs> so give me all the heavy oils, all the heavy butters, all of it. My hair will lap it all up. So I make sure that I definitely get my edges. Do not leave your edges out of any treatments that you do. It is so important. Get the hairs at the peripherals of your, of your hair as well. And also focus on your ends. So never miss out your edges and your ends. So here I'm all done and I'm going to put my hair up in a ponytail and then put it under a plastic shower cup. So I carefully put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> And then I follow up with a plastic shower cap and then I double it up with another plastic shower cap 
no idea why I think I just felt the need to maybe give the hair more like to keep the hair more secure don't know and then after that I wrapped my hair up in a in cling film just for that extra heat and to also keep anything that my try to dribble down my face to keep it all in my hair and then after the cling film I go in with my mulberry oh my gosh I can't speak I go in with my mulberry silk scarf and I keep this on for I think 78 hours not because I wanted to, but when you have kids, things just <laughs> never go to plan. So I had to wait for them to sleep. And I think I I put it in around 4 p.m. And I didn't wash it out till 1 a.m. or 12, 12 a.m. And it and didn't finish till around 2. So, yeah. So this is when I took it down 78 hours later. And this was the result. My hair felt really strong and also pretty moisturized so a lot of these herbs are actually strengthening some have um more of like conditioning properties but most of them are quite strengthening After rinsing it out, I went in with a co-wash just to make sure I get everything out. And then I followed up with my protein deep treatment. And after, I did not like how my hair felt. I'm not sure whether it's because of the damage. The ends didn't feel great at all. So I'm going to try it again. The same routine and then follow up with my protein treatment just to see if the henna in this is actually enough to repel my protein treatment and then i'll have to change up the routine maybe you only do this treatment on days that i don't do my protein treatment so we will see but yeah my, my hair felt great it's only when i did the the protein treatment that i noticed a difference in how my hair felt so Maybe I shouldn't have added the henna. I didn't think about it. But it's going to make my routine. It's going to mess up my routine really. Because I like to use protein treatment every time I wash my hair. Because I don't wash my hair very frequently. So if it's the case that the henna is causing. Um, is going to cause problems. I'm going to have to maybe make a new batch. Or use this on days that I don't do protein which will mean it changing up my routine a little bit. So this is the result and as you can see my hair feels really supple, looks grey and this is before I washed it out with a curl wash and yeah just love it, just look at my hair love 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 it so this is going to be my routine to grow out my hair and yeah i'll keep you guys in the loop as to how it's going let me know if you're going to join me on this journey of growing my hair i will come back with further details of how i plan to grow and retain the length that i am growing this year so Stay tuned and thank you for watching and I shall see you in my next video. Bye.